Today, we're going to share with you two ways in which you can know you are forgiven by God. No more worry, no more stressed out thinking, has God forgiven me? Today, you will know, and I'm going to give you two surefire ways that you can sleep well tonight and pillow your head in peace. Make sure you stay tuned. You know, many questions that we get on this channel are in regards to being forgiven by God. I just don't feel like some will say that God will forgive me. I don't know how God can forgive me. I just don't believe that God has forgiven me. Satan's telling me God's not forgive me, and I just don't feel the relief. Okay, this video is specifically for those individuals that feel like you're wanting to know, how do I know? How can I tell for sure God has forgiven me? I'm going to show you two ways, two surefire ways. Now, when this video is over, after you do what I tell you, then you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I am forgiven. I am forgiven by God himself, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this in the beginning. It's not got anything to do with, uh, you know, you going to church X amount of times a week. It's not got anything to do with reading X amount of time in the Bible every day or, or shaking someone's hand uh, and asking them, uh, please help me or, or whatever. It's not got anything to do with that. I'm going to be reading to you straight from the Bible. Now, we have a playlist on the unforgivable sin. Now, a lot of people are worried about that. Okay, the question I'm talking about today is deeper than that. It's not got anything to do specifically, I'll say, with the unpardonable sin. This goes to anyone who feels like you do not know if God has forgiven you, okay? I, I, you might say, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know how to go about knowing and feeling that God has forgiven me. I've asked him, I've, I've said, Lord, forgive me, but I just don't feel like God has forgiven me, okay? This is for you. Now, I'm, what I'm going to tell you today is not my thought, okay? Now, as I said, I've got a playlist on the unpardonable sin. You can watch that playlist if you are bar, uh, burdened down by that. Please watch that playlist because I think that will help you, okay? But this video is basically in general and not just that. And the, the verses that I'm going to share with you today are actually two verses I have never used before on this channel about this subject, okay? But I'm going to share with you here, and these are two verses that if you'll listen to them, Listen to what they say. Don't think I've heard this before or don't think, oh, that don't mean... No, it means exactly what it says, okay? Now, the second thing I want you to understand is this is not me talking. I am not standing here telling you, here's how you need to do, and if you do what I say... Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm going to give you the words and the instructions, but it's not me telling you. This was Jesus Christ himself telling you how to know you have been forgiven by God. Okay, now, the first verse is this. Now, this video is not going to be really long, so please give it your undivided attention and please watch it all the way through because I'm telling you, if you apply both of these steps, you can pillow your head tonight in peace. You can, when you lay your head down tonight and go to sleep, you know, a lot of people are, that are burdened by this, they're afraid when they go to sleep, if they never wake up again the next day, they're, they're afraid they'll leave this world lost because they don't have the peace of mind to feel like and know that God has forgiven them. This is what you need, okay? Now, I'm going to read to you first out of John chapter 14 and verse number 13. This is, and, and this is what I'm saying. It's not me. This is Jesus. I'm reading the words of Jesus talking to you. So this is Jesus Christ telling you. He said, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Okay? And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now let's go on to verse 14. Because sometimes, you know, when somebody else will tell you something, they might say, make a statement, but usually if they go back and make that statement again, they're just doing it for more emphasis, okay? That's what Jesus said here in verse 14, or chapter 14 and verse 13. But now notice what he said in the very next verse, in verse 14. He said, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, okay? 
Today, if you're struggling with wanting to know, has God forgiven me? Will God forgive me? Do you understand what Jesus just said there? I wanna, I'm going to paraphrase this really short. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Anything includes, Lord, will you please forgive me? Will you please forgive me for my sins? Lord, I'm sorry for the life that I've lived. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Jesus said, if you will ask anything, and if you say, Lord, forgive me, Lord, I'm sorry, will you please forgive me? That is asking Jesus something. He said, if you ask anything, I will do it. Okay? If you ask anything, I will do it. So the first thing, the first way, the first step, for you to know you've been forgiven is this. You must ask God to forgive you. It's simple, yes, but it's a simple, simple step. The first step is asking God to forgive you. Now, I want you to take this and mark this in your Bible with maybe a little highlighter or something for today's date. John 14, verses 13 and 14. It said, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, I will do it. So whatever you ask, if you ask for forgiveness, Jesus said, I will forgive. Okay, step one, ask for forgiveness. Now, you don't have to broadcast it to the world. You don't have to tell anybody around you. You don't have to stand up on a rooftop and say, hey, here's what happened. No, all you got to do is ask Jesus Christ. That's what he said. You just ask him to forgive you and he'll forgive you. That's all you got to do today. You don't, you don't have to get on the phone. You don't have to get on TV. You don't have to put it in the newspaper. All you got to do right now is say a prayer and say, Lord, will you please forgive me if you want to be a part of the kingdom of God? And the Bible said, Jesus said, not, not me, not Joey. That's my name, not Joey. Jesus said, ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus, and I will do it. Okay, that's step one. Now, Step two. What's step two? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter number 21 and verse number 22. This is all connected. Now notice what Jesus is talking about asking here in this verse also. Matthew 21, 22, and it said, In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Now, that's not my words. If you're seeing it on the screen, that's not my words. That's Jesus Christ's words. Now, let's put these two verses together. So, again, let me say this right now. The second step. The first step is ask, and the second step is believe. All you've got to do is those two things. And you can know you've been forgiven. You don't have to struggle with it. You don't have to pillow your head and say, Lord, I don't know if you've forgiven me or not. Lord, I don't feel like you've forgiven me. That's what you might feel today. I've had people email me and say, I just don't feel it. I just don't feel like God is. That is Satan putting doubts in your mind. Don't let him do it. You know why you can, you know why you can fight off that doubt of Satan? Because the scripture said, right, that we just read just a moment ago. Jesus said, if you ask in his name anything, he said, I will do it. So what he's saying is, if you repent and come before me and say, Jesus, will you forgive me? Jesus said, I will do it. Okay, now let's go to the next verse. Believe, that's part two. He said, whatever you ask in prayer, it includes asking for forgiveness. Whatever you ask in prayer, believing... And he said, ye shall receive. Okay, what he's saying is, you ask for forgiveness, you ask for forgiveness, I will forgive you. Then you must believe, just have faith, because he said, I've forgiven you. I will forgive you. I will have forgiven you at that time. You can have faith and believe. When Satan tells you, listen, Maybe you don't feel like God has forgiven you. All you've got to do is go to the book and you can put your finger on it. These are two ways that you know tonight you can pillow your head in peace because the Bible here, Jesus said, Jesus says, if you ask in prayer believing in his name, he said, you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And then he said, when you ask and pray, he said, believe and you'll receive it. 
See, do you know what he's saying there? He can forgive you, okay? Jesus will forgive you. But if you don't have the faith and if you don't believe, you're not going to receive that, that forgiveness joy, that refreshing joy, because you're still having doubt in your heart. And, and the Lord don't want doubt in our hearts. What he wants is he wants us to have victory. That's why he's telling you, have faith and believe. Put those two verses together. Mark them in your Bible. And I tell you what, out beside John 14, 13 and 14, if you've got a little place and you, and you do place marks in your Bible, a lot of times I'll put little reference dates and things like that. Put on there as well Matthew chapter 21 and verse number 22 underneath it. That way you'll know you can link them together. And the next time Satan tells you you're not forgiven, you go back and you quote those verses. You read them out loud to, to yourself and say, Lord, I know you've forgiven me. Satan, I know I'm forgiven and I know I am a child of God. Okay? I hope this has helped you. This is two surefire ways that you know See, a lot of people might say, well, if you do this, if you do that, you know, if you quote this verse or if you quote that, uh, read that book, read the whole Bible through or or maybe go to church every every Sunday on at a certain, you know, all of those things. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of those things are, are good, you know, reading the Bible, going to church and, and all of these things are good. We're not saying nothing about what I'm saying is this is the way you get forgiveness. You ask him to forgive you. He said he would forgive you, but he said you must believe that I've forgiven you and you will receive forgiveness. You will receive the joy. You will receive the uplifting to know you've been forgiven. I hope this video helps you. And also today, let me say this. If you have been troubled with um, the um, unpardonable sin, if you're worried about that, check out our unpardonable sin video. And you might say, well, you know, I can sum that up as well, you know. This here takes care of all of that. Because in that series, I explain that the only people that will not be forgiven by God are those that do not want forgiveness, those that will not ask for forgiveness. Anyone that has done a sin, that done the unpardonable sin, so to speak, they will not ever, ever want forgiveness from God. Okay, so if you want forgiveness from God, if you want to be a child of God, if you want to be right with God, if you want to go to sleep tonight and sleep good knowing you're a child of the King, it's there for you. All you've got to do is, is ask and believe. Hope this video helps you today. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here because we want to help you in your walk with Christ. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. We'll be looking for you on the next video.